Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be a three card spread drawing out some messages that will be helpful for you for the upcoming week. Uh, just want to say thank you for joining, uh, viewing my channel. You're more than welcome to leave behind a like or a subscribe if you enjoy this weekly content and would like to see more of it on a weekly basis going forward. So having said that, let's get straight into it and see what's potentially coming up for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Okay, the first card you have is the Fool. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Okay. The Fool here. This could be an Aries that is coming through around you. This person is actually wanting new beginnings, okay? New starts, new beginnings with this person here. The Fool card is all about setting out on a journey here. So some of you are starting a new friendship with an Aries, potentially a new relationship with an Aries, or maybe even seeking adventure, okay? Possibly travel, pre travel plans or travel opportunities may mm, appear for you in the upcoming week. You might be meeting someone foreign, someone that's passing by through your city your state your country you might bump into this person there could be foreign connections coming through here as well you may hear from people that are a little bit further away okay so it could be like foreign it could be international people cancer you might be making some sort of connection here uh, long distance connections are coming in quite um quite prominently here uh, there could be a bit of stress okay um you might not know your place somewhere. If this is a long distance connection that you have cancer, if you have some sort of romantic connection or you're collaborating with someone long distance, I feel like the two of you might be a little bit on shaky ground here. So I don't know if you're feeling lonely. You know, the Nine of Swords could indicate that you're feeling lonely. Distant, being distant, being away from this person, you might be feeling um, a little bit disconnected here. Maybe your communication together hasn't been on par or in the upcoming week communication could be suffering between the two of you. So you might feel like you're at a place where, you know, the fool I always associate a bit with no man's land. It's a bit disorientating. He doesn't really have a goal. He doesn't really have an end place he'd like to visit. It's just sort of embracing what comes. And although, you know, some of you might be living more presently in the moment uh, this week, Cancer, really stopping and smelling the flowers. You can see he's got a white flower in his hand. So it's all about being present, being in the moment and not planning too far ahead because, you know, we just never know sometimes what life can bring. Um, I think there might be surprises, things you didn't see coming as well in the upcoming week. Um, and I feel like it might be a message that you need to take things as it comes, okay? Not plan, not preempt too much, not assume too much, I think, because you could sort of send yourself crazy. You've come up as the Nine of Swords. You might be feeling an array of emotions here, loneliness. You might be overthinking someone's words this week. Um, it might cause sleepless nights. You may be feeling somewhat anxious or nervous because it is anxious, nervous energy. Um, it's things keeping you up at night. Uh, there could be a conversation that takes place in the upcoming week and it is a bit discerning, okay? It might be a little bit alarming. It might give you reason to doubt something. You might be feeling like a fool, okay? I feel like there might be news coming in as well, possibly from a fire sign about a situation here. And you may feel like you've been a fool or you've acted a little bit foolish or you've maybe, you know, embarrassed yourself by saying something he cancer or vice versa. This could be a person coming in that's um, that has for the most part embarrassed themselves maybe, okay, been acting a fool, not really um, committed to anything long term because I feel like the fool can't. Um, it's not to say you can't take him seriously, you can. The energy that's coming in around him is you You can, but he has to prove it, okay? He has to prove it, but it's very much in his nature. It's it's a way of him being um, not as settled, as I suppose, as, or as grounded as what other people can be. So look, I mean, for those that are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you might find someone, an air sign that's missing you, feeling lonely. Maybe you've said something to them and it's keeping them up at night, okay? Maybe they are going through the Nine of Swords energy um, and it's not it's not a good place to be. So I think someone might be feeling quite lost, um, quite disoriented is what comes to mind here, Cancer. So especially in regards to words, words are disorientating and not very clear and concise. So um, miscommunication, misinterpretation could be quite um, prominent for you. It could definitely be in a work sense as well. Um, it could also involve travel plans, travel plans that aren't being made efficiently or effectively. 
uh, as well. It could be new starts, okay, if you're starting into a new role or something, there's nervous energy, you might be quite, you know, not sure what to expect. Um, I love that you've got the Eight of Wands, though, on the end, because it points to, um, it, it's quite a good energy. The Eight of Wands is steps that need to be taken or will be taken. Um, eight steps, eight days, eight weeks. Um, I feel like you're, it's it's elevation or it's success here. So climbing the ladder or evolving, okay? There's there's a step ladder. Um, for some of you, travel or a long distance connection will make you evolve. Um, I do see the arrows of love coming in, so I do think there might be um, uh, romantic or heated communication happening between a significant other. This might be climbing the ladder to success. Not really knowing how you did it, Cancer, and that's not to say you're not capable of it um, or it wasn't intentional, but I feel like some of you might land something because I feel like the fool is quite lucky. Um, and I feel like with the Eight of Wands next to him, some of you aren't really aware of the situation you're getting yourself into, but there's very lucky things, lucky opportunities, money, um, a romantic connection, there's something that will come of this new adventure or this new start or coming into something here and just embracing, being more present in the moment, which I mentioned um, previously. It's a time of taking action. Some of you that you'll have a lot of places to see, things to do in the upcoming week. Um, it could definitely revolve, uh, evolve around, um, revolve around uh, moving, moving, travel plans, communication. Uh, taking action, proceeding forward. If you are waiting for a fire sign to make contact with you, I do believe you will hear news from this person. Um, they might be bombarding you with messages. It could be quite, as I said, it's quite heated or persistent um, is what comes to mind when I see the Eight of Wands because they're very solid, they're very strong, and it's very forward energy. So forwarded communication, um, very forward messages. The ones can represent desire, lust, sexuality. Um, passion. So you might be receiving some very um, forward sexual advances here, Cancer. Okay, someone might be very forward in the way they're flirting with you or communicating with you or, you know, how attracted they are to you or, you know, this is desire, news of desire or lust or passion. Um, and some of you will go with that. I think you'll enjoy it, which is nice. Um, some of you will, you know, you might not be feel like you, you won't feel like you're being taken seriously um, in a way. Or someone isn't looking past surface level because the full card doesn't really investigate. You know, he's not really built on rationale and reason. So you might feel like someone's not really seeing the real you. Um, or maybe you're too nervous to show the real you as well. Uh, some of you are fearful of these steps you have to take. But it's possible to get there. Okay, you've got to take the good with the bad. Some of the ones are shorter, some of them are longer. Some you lose, some you win cancer, but the fact is, is that you can elevate, okay? You can be elevated through a promotion, um, through meaning more to someone. But sometimes, as I said, I think it all comes down to the message for you this week is that you you must learn to embrace more and not anticipate too much. I know as a, as a water sign, you're quite emotive um, and you evoke a lot of emotion and, and judge by your intuition and sensing but I think a part of you may need to just embrace and be more present in the moment because this is where the fruitful experiences will come for you in the upcoming week. But absolutely can point to new romances, new attractions, new opportunities, new journeys, spiritual journeys, physical journeys, new goals that you may create for yourself in the upcoming week. Um, you might not see your vision straight away, but the plan is, is that with the right amount of action and dedication, you can certainly get this done and achieve what it is that you're setting out to achieve here. So I will leave it at that, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to leave behind a like. Uh, or a subscribe, you're absolutely more than welcome to join the YouTube family. We'd have you with open arms. Uh, for those after private readings, all the information that you require is listed below this video, such as my email, list of prices and services.